Good morning, everybody. This is Goose7732, or Zachary Willard. I am here today with an unboxing, not really an unboxing, more of a showing. Um, I got a big package from Joe Picks. He has sent me some cool stuff. He sent me a pen. He sent me a keychain lanyard. He sent me a bunch of stickers. Um, and he sent me a poker chip, which is very nice, which I'm gonna put on my shelf. But he also sent me this. It looks like a, kind of like an old CD case. But you push this, and then this comes out, and it is a portable painting tray. Lots of spots, very nice. And then these little extruded parts right here hold it in so it doesn't come out. So that's going on into my stuff. I want to say thanks to Joe for sending me these beautiful locks I have here. I've got some stock locks over here and I've got some challenge locks he sent me right here. So I'm going to go through the stock locks real quick. Um, we're going to zoom in though. So he sent me this nice laminated padlock. It's a Yale. Turn around. Yale padlock. Comes with keys. That you don't have to turn it very far. So that's interesting. Not even like a quarter of a turn. So that was that one. And then we've got a uh, Amberly Security. It looks uh, pretty restricted. Well, they look like a restricted keyway of some kind. And a mortise cylinder. We got a nice Abyss right here. Look at that nasty keyway. Oh, jeez. We've got a Kaba Peaks more cylinder and it has a key. Let me see if I can get it out. There we go. It's got a key. And you can tell Peaks so. Look at that. It's pretty nasty too. And then I've got this Gale. So there's Gale right here. It looks like maybe a warded. Maybe? Yeah, it looks like a warded. And then this thing weighs like a pound, maybe a half pound, I don't know. It weighs a lot, comes with a bunch of keys. There's a dimple lock, looks like for a hitch or a um, storage unit or something. All right, and that was the stock locks. So now let's go through these challenge locks. So we sent the small ones. Technically this is a challenge lock, uh, but it's a four pinner. Uh, it's out of a master. I think it's out of a 470 or five stars, 570. Um, but he put um, American lock, uh, 1100 pins in it. So technically it could be considered a challenge lock. Um, but yeah, nice little four pinner, little kick, very small. Um, and we've got this one, this one's, a lot of artwork on here. It's called, um, it's called Meow. Flux it. Oh, fluffy Kitty, that's what it's called. Fluffy Kitty, it's got scratch marks on the cylinder and the key. Got a nice brass tag. This is from Picksmith, one of his challenge locks. Looks like his third challenge lock. Then we've got this Lockwood mortise cylinder, which is really nice and an old brush brass. And there's a key right here, still mummified. A keyway. I tell you what, there's some good keyways in this, in this box. We've got Dingleberry by Bears Back. Looks like a quick set. With some deep cuts in there and high peak. And then we've got one more, which is Varanus Defense by Lance Spy Key. And then I put Joe's sticker right here. I got one of his old ones, so I put that on my picking stand. Um, but that's what I have for you guys today. I'll do a video next this next week for what is required to enter the giveaway. There will be two winners. Um, I will 
break it up into groups. Um, we'll, we'll break it up into one, we'll pick one, we'll break it up into another, we'll pick another. Uh, we'll try to do something fun. Appreciate you guys as always, and as always, stay legal and keep picking.